I'm not the biggest fan of needles and having to get a new flu shot every year is just, <sighs> why isn't there just like one flu shot for all the flus by now? Hey guys, Julia here for DNews. In a recent breakthrough, researchers from the Scripps Research Institute are one step closer to making a universal flu vaccine. Yep, a single shot that can cure you of the flu now and always. But uh, how come we haven't had that already? Well, let's start by looking at what happens when you get sick, say from the chicken pox. You get the virus and you get all those telltale inchy bumps. Your body, meanwhile, is working overtime. Your immune system hasn't seen this invader before. So it creates a special kind of attack force just for this particular illness. Like a key created for a lock, your body body produces antibodies that attack just this virus. But sometimes fighting off an infection can have terrible side effects like high fever, aches, pains, you know the deal. Vaccines work by tricking your body into making antibodies without suffering the ill effects of an actual infection. But there's a problem with some viruses like influenza, which causes what we call the flu. They mutate often. Every year there's a new flu vaccine because every year there's a new strain. Authorities have to guess which strain will be the most virulent. To learn more about the current vaccine making process, Trace has the scoop in this video. There's a link in the description if you're on mobile. That may be a thing of the past. Researchers are working on a universal vaccine for the flu. Literally, you could be one and done. Most antibodies fight off infections by recognizing certain proteins on the outside of the cells of viruses. These proteins look like flowers with a head and a stem. Most antibodies work by targeting the head of these proteins, but these heads can mutate and invade and attack. In the case of the flu, these proteins are called hemagglutinin, or HA, and help the virus get into the cell, and it can be found on all types of influenza virus. But we're Weirdly, some people's bodies automatically make antibodies that target something other than the head of those proteins, something that doesn't mutate so easily. These are called broadly neutralizing antibodies. In the case of the flu, these antibodies attack the stem of the virus's HA, not just the head. And because the stem is crucial to the HA, it's unlikely to mutate. This new vaccine would help your body create novel antibodies that defend against various types of flu viruses. One of the best vaccine options they made had an artificial HA stem. That way, the body would learn what the HA stem looked like and produce the corresponding defenses. The researchers then tested their new vaccine on rodents and primates with promising results. Unfortunately, it's still a few years away from use in humans, but like a lot of things at this stage in development, more research is needed. But scientists have been cracking away at this problem for years now. Just earlier this year, another universal vaccine proved successful in mice. In a study published in the journal mBio, researchers created a vaccine cocktail with a virus-like particle that had several subtypes of proteins on it, so the body would create multiple antibodies in response. The research Researchers found that the cocktail provided protection for 95% of the mice for at least six months. Besides creating cocktails, researchers tried other means of eliciting varied responses from the body. In a study in the journal Nature Immunology, researchers found an interesting way to get the body to create that kind of response. In addition to a vaccine, they actually suppressed mice's immune system with the drug rapamycin. This drug blocked activity of a certain protein, which plays a hand at tailoring antibodies. So the antibodies might remain general enough to attack multiple strains. At the same time, the drug increased the amount of white blood cells that broaden the immune response by attacking internal proteins and viruses, not just those changing external ones. So while we don't yet have one and done flu vaccine, it'll be a thing of the future as sure as driving cars. In the meantime, I'll guess I'll have to get my flu shots. But how do you know if you have the flu anyway? How do you know it's not just a common cold and what exactly is the difference? Trace has the answer in this video right here. They really are all different. This is why we can't cure the common cold. The flu, on the other hand, is caused by influenza viruses. All of these are respiratory viruses. So how about you guys? Do you hate shots? Let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back to DNews so you don't miss a single episode.